at a panel on inequality and capitalism. I think what differentiated my position is I take a moral view of this issue. Fundamentally, I believe in liberty. I, I believe in freedom. And I believe in whatever outcome freedom generates is the right outcome. There's no right level of inequality. There's no right level of equality. I think the left believes that equality is some kind of ideal. And I take the position that, that the redistribution of wealth in and of itself is immoral and wrong and actually harmful both to the people the money is being taken away from, but also to the recipients of welfare. When you give people a check uh, who haven't earned that money, they just get a check because they're alive, you're basically diminishing their incentives to work. And by diminishing their incentives to work, you're diminishing their ability to have a life, to, to, to gain pride, to gain self-esteem from the fact that they're taking care of themselves or the family or the people that they love. And it's in a way the welfare state institutionalizes people into poverty instead of really helping them flourish as human beings. And I made the point that inequality shouldn't matter, that inequality indeed doesn't matter. The gap between the rich and the poor is not the problem that we face. We might have problems with mobility among poor people, their ability to rise up, and we might have problems with cronyism at the top, and we need to deal with those problems. But inequality in and of itself is not an issue. Indeed, inequality is a phenomena of freedom. It is a phenomena of capitalism. To the extent that it is based on merit, it is something that should be celebrated, not condemned.